Hi everyone, it's me, psychic medium Jessica Nightingale on Tuesday, November the 29th, 2016 with an information from Spirit about today's new moon in Sagittarius. So obviously new moons are always about regeneration, rebirth, newness, manifestation, new, 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 new moon, new you. <laughs> And this new moon really is no different, but like with all my videos, I like to be really specific about the current energetic climate and how it's affecting you and also how it's supporting the new moon energy. And this new moon is in Sagittarius, just like the sun is in Sagittarius for the next month. So we're getting a double whammy of good old Sagittarius, which really is a fantastic energy. Sagittarius is a fiery sign. So a lot of us are feeling fired up, feeling like we want to get going on projects. We want to get going on things. But the beautiful part about Sagittarius is it doesn't just blaze through things. It wants to give a lot of thought to things. It wants to really uh, open our minds to spirituality, to esotericism, to connecting with something greater than our own physical reality. So we're really fired up right now to connect with our higher selves and our higher purpose. I can't even tell you how many readings I've done this week for people who want to know what their life purpose is. And that's the energy of, of this new moon in Sag, 100%. So right now, today and for the next few days, while the moon's energy is affecting us, we're going to be really taking stock of how we uh, want to relate to the world in terms of expressing ourselves spiritually. So how can we incorporate our spirituality and our higher truth and our higher selves and our higher purpose into our everyday reality? And there's also a measure of focus on our relationships right now as well. Where things are being illuminated in our relationships with that, that aren't quite fitting or in, in line with our higher vision of ourselves and our lives and our spirituality and who we actually are. So there's going to be some tension in close relationships right now, romantic partnerships and very close friends and work. Anyone that you spend a lot, a lot of time with, there could be some tension there. Uh, watch your words, think before you speak and just consider that you have a perception of the situation or of the relationship, but the other person also has an equally valid perception of the relationship and be a good Sag, you know, and open yourself up to both concepts and realize that there's a higher truth to things beyond what you're communicating. But all in all, you know, the new moon is about newness. So take some time today to make a list of things that you want to manifest in the next four weeks or, you know, build a vision board or meditate about it. You don't have to make a list, but spend some focused energy or time today to really zone in on who you are on a spiritual level and how you want to allow that to overflow into your physical reality or into your mundane or daily life. Some of us, are right in line. Some of us live our lives as spiritual beings. Look at like, I'm one person that my entire life is saturated with spirituality. Um, and then there's others who just sometimes read a book about it or sometimes have a sudden insight or a bit of enlightenment just randomly. No matter where you're at on the spectrum, you're in the perfect place. None of us are better than the other. But this new moon really is about being more spiritual, incorporating more spirituality into your life. So go buy a book. Oh, Sag energy is great for getting books, <laughs> for reading. So go to the library or go to chapters and go stand in the new age section and just kind of allow yourself to open up and ask your higher self, higher self, what do I need to read right now? And then whatever your eye rests on or whatever you're drawn to immediately, pick it up, take it home. That's a message for you from spirit and it's going to help you to connect even more with your truth, which is your spirituality. And it also helps to give us the energy of not being so fearful about letting our freak flag fly, our spiritual freak flag. I'm going to say it one more time, freak flag fly, because three times and I said it really fast. So I'm awesome. <laughs> but it really, you know, this energy really does help us to have courage to be able to speak our truths and to incorporate our crazy, freaky spirituality into our daily mundane life without so much fear of judgment. So use this energy to really blow up your spiritual self and really, you know, let that freak flag fly. But just be mindful that you're not trampling on other people or being 
ignorant to other people's views, right? While you're doing this. And then you really will use this energy to the greatest extent. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy this beautiful energy. And if you're feeling the opposite, if you're feeling repressed, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling anxious, that's okay too. You know, not everyone is going to experience this new moon in Sagittarius energy the same way. Not everyone's going to feel positive about it. Some people are going to feel really overwhelmed by it. That's okay. You know, the other day I, I released a video about using the kind of discontent or the irritability or that feeling of anxiety. It's literally a feeling of anxiety in your chest. Use that and channel it into some sort of creative project so that you're releasing that energy and not holding on to it and, and causing it to be a block in future endeavors. But no matter where you are today and how you're feeling today, you have to know that whether you're consciously aware of the good changes coming and happening or whether you're not consciously aware of it, they are happening. Shifts are happening constantly, but these ones lately are really super charged uh, and all bringing us to a higher understanding of ourselves and non-duality, which means that we're all connected. So good luck with that. I'll talk to you soon. Many blessings. And thank you so much for not only watching all of my videos, but for sharing them as well. I really do appreciate it. And I know that spirit appreciates it too. Take care, everyone.